What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. And, and today I'm going to talk about um, Denver Nuggets center Nikola Jokic has just been named the, um, the MVP of the league, yo. Uh, I'm going to just get my thoughts on that and if I thought he should have won it and stuff of that nature. Um, but before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that informa uh, information down in the description box or oh, at Twitter. Uh, may not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Uh, come out let you, boy, yo. Well, shout out to uh, Nikola Jokic, yo. Um, big honey is what like Charles Barkley call him. The guy's a big time player, yo. Really big time player. He's been pretty big time for the last few years or so. Uh, this year he averaged 26.4 points per game as well as 8.3 assists per game. When you're talking about a, a five position, a center, that's pretty amazing <laughs> to average like those that many assists you know, a game. And he carried, he really carried this team when um Jamal Murray went out with his torn ACL. He got them currently right now in the playoffs, um, taking on the Phoenix Suns. Great, great season for him, yo. Great season, great player. Denver is a team that that's that's up and coming, yo. I think in the next uh unfortunate Murray is injured now because I felt like they had a real chance this season in a very wide open Western Conference playoffs. So a uh, great year for him. He really, really did his thing. Me personally, though, to be honest with you, if I had a vote, uh, I would have voted for Joel Embiid for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, look, I know a lot of people going to say, oh, he missed too many games. Like, he he was injured for a good stretch. A little, well, I can say a good, but for a little stretch of the season, you know, and Jokic basically was out there every night. And I won't argue with anybody who says that. I get that. But for me, you know, I don't want to hand out MVP awards. And and when I and, and I don't want to sound like I'm being disrespectful towards Nikola Jokic. Because, look, I'll, I'll put him second. <laughs> like, I'll put him right after Joel Embiid, right in front of Steph Curry. But, you know, I just feel like Joel Embiid, when I watched both these players play this season, Embiid was dominant this year, yo. And B, when he was out there, which was the majority of the season, it ain't like he played 50% of the games. He was dominant. So I just felt like, me personally, I would have voted for Joel B just because I felt like the dominance fact, I felt like this season he was the best player in the NBA. And then you even look at it, his team has home court advantage, you know, in the Eastern Conference over teams like the Brooklyn Nets, over teams like the Milwaukee Bucks. And when, when Denver, though, they, they had a really good year, but they're third in the West, you know. So me personally, if I had a vote, which I don't, obviously, if I had a vote on who was the MVP of the league, I would have voted for Joel Embiid, me personally. But, you know, him, him missing a, a chunk of games, you know, that people felt like Jokic, which, like I said, don't want to poo-poo on Jokic's year. Jokic was big time this season. Jokic is a big time player. It's not like I'm saying he got it like by default, like he's not deserving of the award. He is. I'm just saying, me personally, I would have went to other people. But Nikola Jokic is our 2020, uh, 2020, 2021 NBA MVP. Uh, great season for him, yo. Great season. Like I said, when you got a 26.4 points per game, is pretty good, but. I mean, man, when you talk about a center averaging almost nine assists a game, that is just absolutely incredible in today's, you know, NBA where you got um, not only power falls, but now you got centers like him who could stretch out and, and shoot the three ball at a very, very high percentage, yo. So shout out to Nikola Jokic um, on getting the MVP. Me personally, like I said, I would have voted Joel Embiid. But, hey, either way, man, both two, two both, um, very well deserving players, two great players, yo. Oh, uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm gonna have Miami Heat and NBA content throughout the year. 
Uh, also, this coming Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central, 3 Pacific. I'm going to do it's going to be the premiere of the Dropping Dimes with Mr. Do Got Call In Show, a two hour call in show. Well, y'all come on there, give me a call. I'll answer your phone calls, um, talk to y'all a little bit, chop it up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And also, um, this coming Monday at 6 East, uh, at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 4 Pacific, I'm going to do a live QA for an hour. Y'all come on there, ask me anything. Tell me anything. I answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me for those things. It'll be some great stuff. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Let's go, Heat.